You have no idea how bad I want to use this, but check it out. So it's got these power buttons here, and power levels. Here's where I charged it. I already charged it all the way up. Pump, let's see, what is this saying? Power saving mode, normal power mode, extra power mode. This is how quiet it is. It's low, medium, high. Even when you open it, it is no louder. You can open it from either end to deposit the fish. Seals easily. Solar power, solar powered, solar panel. Whisker Seeker Bait Shack has a handle. Good handle. I tried it out already. Looks like it has some notches so you can put a uh, strap also. So I'm not sure what these are. Strap, I'm sure. A little door that opens up here. Seems to be a vacuum seal occurring. Also, every time I close it, the Whisker Seeker label. Yeah, every time I open it or close it, there's like an air seal. This is how you can take bait out without um, having to swish around. And there's the drain plug down there on the bottom and it does sit below the floor level so the drain plug hole is actually below the bottom of the bait tank so that's a cool design airtight seal it's got this um, solar power energy to charge up the battery different modules this is as loud as it gets the last time you turn it off and it really is super quiet like it's barely making any noise at all and on the bottom it's got some little rubber grommet thingies This is kind of futuristic how it opens. Check it out. Turn it in. You hear the air push out. And again, everything I'm doing is one-handed. You would need that of a bait tank. So if you need two hands for any kind of thing on this bait tank, something is not right because you always have a bait in one hand and you have to deal with this with the other hand. It's got a nice label on the other side, looking mean. Oh my goodness, I wanna use this so bad. Well, it's Friday, so. Y'all you know what your boy's doing this weekend.